Well, hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today and we are back in the infected with basically a brand new season because after last season, well, let's just say that we did get a whole bunch of new updates there is a lot of changes and of course we do have some new variants and also the map itself, it's kinda changed now, I did already repair this ATV and uh, all that you needed to repair you will find inside this old church um, no, basically this is the light, lighthouse, not our old church, but that being said, uh, we are gonna try to find a place to make a simple starter base. Now, uh, if you remember last time we did uh, make our base over here, in this cave, uh, near this cave, and it was pretty awesome location. Uh, but this time around I kinda want to make a base maybe in this new biome. Basically, the desert, it seems quite uninteresting, yeah. And maybe, who knows, on the road we can get hit some towns, why not? It should be a lot of fun, so let's just adventure begin. Uh, let's start this great new season in the Infected, and should be a lot of fun. I'm really excited to see these new biomes and all these new wonderful things. So, uh, the way the way I want to go, basically I kind of want to hit at least one town today. But first things, we need to check what we can get on the road, why not? Jesus, I did forget how to jump out. Okay, we do have some wires, some eggs, cool. Popkins. Harvest, yes, why not? I will need a whole bunch of food. That's uh, definitely for sure. Now, I will not gonna lie to you, uh, this season I will probably do something different. I will not really build myself a huge base that I did last time because, uh, yeah, it's gonna take a lot of time, a lot of resources. I kind of want to make more practical this time around. Now, the main things that also changes in these updates, in the couple of updates, are uh, the fact that so currently there is no more mini bosses or something like this. Uh, this is the past. Uh, now I don't know if I like it or I don't like it, but I do know that the normal infected they are kind of more harder to kill. So it uh, should be a lot more challenging to deal with uh, some bandits uh, outposts, uh, village, towns, whatever. Uh, so we are basically close to the first town and should be right in the front of me. Another X. So it's maybe time to make some spear. Why not? So if I remember four spear, 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 where the heck are spear? Oh, we can make. Uh, so we do need stone blade. Uh, let's make stone blade. Oops. Uh, oh, a bit too many stone blades, but okay. <laughs> Oh, okay, um, let's make some spears. Craft one, uh, maybe. Yeah, let's craft three, why not? So we do have our spears. We do have three spears, it should be more than enough. Now, obviously, this first town it is uh, the easy town, and okay, I can already see some effects spawning. I don't know how much harder that it's gonna be this one. Well, I guess that we're gonna try to find out. Oh, so that is one guy with the shield, really? Mechanical, cool, dry bit. I kind of want to attract one by one, but I don't know if this is even possible. So it might be even not so great idea. 
harder to kill it seems like but and still this one with shield that I kinda don't like it even if I don't know I don't like this one with shield and my shield is gone already <laughs> okay how should I deal with this one This is something that I didn't really like already in the past, this one with shield, they are so annoying. Because they don't do really nothing to you, but only just like dodging all the time and... I don't know. Okay, we... Uh, okay. <laughs> Luckily for me, I did have three spears and still alive. Seriously. Oh my god! Okay, this was harder than I was thinking. Oh uh, no, of course we are already bleeding, or I don't know. So we need to heal really quickly. And we basically use uh, more or less, uh, yeah, almost all health. Uh, great start. Oh, froggy. Oh my god, my god. So do have some nails, cool. I'm pretty sure that we can find one tech inside. I don't need really clay at this point. Uh, my inventory is full, cool. Yes, the tech. And basically this is the new tech uh, list. Uh, now you just kinda find an empty, empty tech and you kinda... You can learn what you want to learn first. And I'm pretty sure the first things that I do want to learn it is the circular soul bench. Oh, right. Let's put some stuff back. And back in action. Now, I'm wondering if uh, we can find maybe some bones just to make some better speeds. It will be nice. And uh, normally, the bones you can easily find uh, most likely in almost every single house. But, of course, it's not 100%. But, 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 uh, yeah. Some bones should be nice, and of course some plastic, some mechanical, electronic parts, all that great stuff. More cameras, some mechanical, cool, and I really looking for some bones, bones, bones. Uh, normally, yeah, there is a chance that you can find some bones, but apparently not this time. Alright, uh, it seems pretty clear to me this town, uh, basically one single house, not really a village, uh, but now let's just jump to the next new things, uh, as you may see, uh, once you visit a village uh, you can place down a marker, and this is something that I did want already in our last season, so that way at least you know which town you did to really check and so on. So we're gonna just place down a marker and I don't know, let's just uh, change this type and let's type, I don't know, done. And it is done. Okay, well, well for the first one it should be okay. So, uh, okay, okay, uh, let's just make a bit of space and let's just go out of here. Now, where I even want to build myself a base. So I was considering this area it should be quite a nice. There is cave nearby and there is mix of two new biomes, basically the desert one and the red down forest. But I do want to check this desert over here. It 
doesn't have really any cave nearby but uh, yeah let's just check over there and let's see what we can find maybe it should be a lot of fun maybe not okay so this is basically the new biomes it does look amazing man i do love this uh, red forest it does look pretty cool, huh? Very interesting. Man, just look at this place. This is quite a nice location, I must say. Maybe for a base. Uh, basically, uh, there is a lake nearby, there is a cave nearby. Yeah, it seems pretty interesting location, a whole bunch of food everywhere. Uh, definitely a nice place to start. Uh, but just like I say, I do want to check that uh, basically the desert biome. Um, because I kind of interesting to see how it looks like. Obviously, the more I look at this red forest, more I do like it. This red forest, it's gonna look super amazing. But we do have our task. Our task it is this uh, desert biome. I do want to check that biome really as soon as we can. And it is already almost night, really? Or really more than 6 pm? Well, it might be that we are gonna arrive at the desert biomes in the middle of the night. Uh, now, I don't really want to deal with this town. Because we are not really ready. Definitely we are not ready yet to fight the infected. I, I did already see that they are kind of more dangerous than they were before. And obviously with only normal speed it isn't really so easy. So we kind of need to upgrade our tool before we, I don't know, attack another town. Another village. Now, oh, how long it's gonna take? Okay, we are, we are nearby. Seems like another village nearby. But that's kinda a different type of village, okay? Should I take these pumpkins? Yeah, why not? Harvest, okay, cool. Oh, a lot, a lot affected in around, a lot affected. Oh, I can already see we are near to the desert, yeah. Oh, this is so beautiful. I don't like this. Oh, look at that mountain. Yeah, this location seems like... Oh, very... Very interesting location. I don't know why, but I do like the desert a lot. This is some aloe avera. So basically there is a lake nearby, uh, that's okay, there is, we do have a couple of trees around, not really so bad location at all. Ah, 
I mean, uh, this seems like quite an interesting uh, location for starter base or end game base. I don't know. I do like I do like this view overall. Think that it is amazing view. This is gonna be so cool to have base over here. Now the only problem it is currently I can look around. Well, we do have some trees around, so it should be enough for the start. But I do want to check where should I even place a base. So let's just... Okay, I hear some piggy. This is pretty much flat area. Oh, does it, it does so cool this area, it's kinda, oh, fantastic, amazing. I do like a lot, but we don't have really too much of time to thinking what we want to do. Uh, so basically, basically I need to find the right spot. So the road is over there, lake is over there. Oh! Did I really break my legs on day one? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, that's not great. Oh, for the fuck's sake. Okay, uh, Wikipedia, Wikipedia. <laughs> oh, I didn't really expect that, but okay. So, we do need a couple of... Uh, yeah, I think that we do have everything. Yeah, craft. Cool. Okay. We did heal our legs, that's okay. And here it seems pretty decent area. It is more or less flat run. So yeah. Uh, let's just say it right over here. So let's just chop down some trees. Uh, it's gonna take some time. And the big bit chopping down trees is still war. I'm basically pressing shield and uh, left click at the same time, most likely, something like so. You can chop down trees uh, really fast, quickly as possible, that's kind of cool. We're gonna probably get rid of all of those. Why not? Just to see where we are, basically. Okay, I think it's time to start building something. Uh, now the other things are, uh, I also think maybe, should I use maybe this uh, mountain for a uh, defense wall, basically, for a defense backyard? I don't know. I think that it does make sense. We did chop some trees down, uh, that's basically okay, we can place our plug down. Because you need to place a land claim pole to start building yourself. That's something really important. Yes, no place like home, that's completed, cool. And basically it is night, but we do have time to place some workbench down, uh, some saw bench. So basically we are gonna do this straight away placeable, so we do have so bench that does need some locks. And this is pretty much what we needed to start. We're just gonna place three down for now, it should be okay. Task completed, yeah. Cool. And just like so, we are just making some planks. We are gonna need a whole bunch of planks, obviously. So we are just continuing doing some planks, stuff like this. And basically the next things that uh, we can probably check out if we can make or not, I don't know because I did a bit forget 
Uh, basically, we do need 10 nails and 3 locks. Check out how many nails we do have. One nails. Jesus Christ. One freaking nails. Not enough. <laughs> Definitely not enough. Alright, so at uh, this point I think that we do have more or less um, enough material just to make some starter base. Obviously it is uh, almost 3 in the morning and we are on day 2 and we didn't even start the building but we are just gonna make, I don't know, simple foundation down. I kinda want to make, I don't know, um, the base itself I do want to make some kind of industrial look. Uh, this is more or less the plan. Now, where should I even start building? I think that here it's quite a nice area, flat area most likely all the way over here. So that's kinda great. Yeah, I think... Something like this, it should be okay. Now, obviously my energy is quite low. We didn't really sleep with uh, just uh, gathering some materials, some planks and stuff like this. Uh, so that's kinda okay. Now starter points, starter points. I don't think that it does really matter at this point, but... Now obviously we can always move stuff around. But over there it's gone... yeah. Okay, who cares, uh, let's just start right over here and let's see where we are. We're gonna just place a couple of this foundation down. Something like... For starter 3x3 three three, it should be more than okay. Alright, 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 uh, time to finish up uh, some floors. Alright, the first one done, cool, and task is done. Build out some planks. Now, of course, everything at the beginning it's gonna take some time just to make some shape. Ah, obviously, this is uh, yeah, the beginning is beginning. We just kinda need, uh, I don't know, it's better not to sleep in the night. Uh, you can still survive, no big deal. Just need to look your stats because if your energy level is at zero or your food level is at zero, you will kind of lose your health. So this is basically, uh, yeah, in the first days it is not really so easy. But of course you do have some snacks uh, that comes with the day one, so you can eat that and you can pretty much survive. No, it's not really so problem. Obviously the food is more of the problem. Uh, when the winter is gone, but we do have a whole bunch of time until winter, so I'm pretty sure that we are gonna finish up uh, quite a lot before winter. Now, of course, a lot, a lot, a lot of working hours. Alright, cool, cool, cool. The foundation is down, uh, we can probably spend a couple more over there, there. Oh, uh, we do need a pickaxe. Just to smash some stones. Inventory full, of course it is inventory full. <laughs> I don't care about inventory right now. Uh, so, we do need a campfire, we do need a couple more things to survive. So, first things first, we're gonna hear a uh, placeable cooking station. If I remember where is cooking station, I I did totally forget. Okay, campfire. Okay, small stones. Place down this one. Like so, no big deal. We do need some firewood that we can make by high risk these locks. That's not a problem. And we do have a campfire. Cool. Uh, at this point, we're gonna build uh, ourselves. For the campfire we do need to cover up, if the rain is coming, you need to cover up. But the problem is, 
Yes, shelter. You need to build yourself a shelter so that way if the rains come you are protected. Ah, uh, this is obviously so easy to build. Basically you need just a couple of blocks. Need four locks for a shelter. Like so. And the next thing that I do want to build it is basically the water collector. Uh, I do think, I do think it is, uh, yeah. Water. Uh, this is something that you do need to collect some water. It is support and of course it's not important but you can always collect from the legs but uh, you know in the winter you can't so. Well, also in the winter from over here you can't. It doesn't really matter, does need some planks, it should be okay. Get the planks, all these sticks away. Fill it up. This one. Grab some planks. And two water collectors are done. That's okay. Now the next thing, the next thing is yes. I do want to expand, so we're gonna place a couple more foundation down. Two, three, just to see where we are. And the next thing, so we are gonna start placing down couple of these uh, small forge over here uh, free it should be more than okay for start uh, so that way we can finally start cooking some stones and we can make some iron fragments and yeah basically we need to fill up some stones we need to smash some rocks again Okay, the one is down and just like so you put two stones inside and you can basically burn these things up no big deal and just like so you basically make some iron fragments of course we are gonna need a whole bunch of uh, stones and stuff like this but uh, we need to speed up our uh, yeah all this work it's kind of waiting oh uh, still basically we didn't even finish up the foundation uh, yeah that's quite a lot and of course we are thirsty so yeah let's just cook some water why not uh, basically we can fill it up like so and we just put water inside need some fire and uh, basically that's kind of done so we're gonna make some firewood again <sighs> yeah yeah i know we don't have any energy left uh, that's yeah it is what it is okay this okay one more wood it should be enough let's fire these things up and water it's cooking and we can fill it up two more times and we should be okay okay so the water is cooking and uh, in the meantime we can place down a couple of walls down why not i think that it is our time yeah and we are gonna use in these half walls i think that kind of look better and on the top we are gonna place some special window I know, I know, I think that the water is already fertile. Clean water, drink water, alright, cool, drink. Nice, all much better. And basically this one only needs planks, alright, that's kinda cool. Yeah, this is gonna be more than enough space, of course, uh, we do have a lot of work to do, basically we do have a couple of this, it's fair, two fragments are done, 
Alright, uh, we do need, we do need, we do need, I don't know. Uh, we need to get them some, 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 seriously, some planks. Quickly. Holy moly, we did use already a whole bunch of planks. Come on, hop, hop, hop. Pull. Okay, it's time to fill it up our energy, why not? Let's just eat the one beef stew, yeah. Split one, let's eat one of this. And with this we gain basically the full water and some food and also some energy and that's great. So that way you can basically... Uh, yeah, you can basically with... Uh, you can work without sleep basically for three days. It should be quite easy, not really so difficult at all. Okay, so obviously in the first couple of days you kind of want to gather a whole bunch of resources. And basically you need to build yourself a lot just to survive. It is not really so easy a couple of few days. And of course we do have something too much. Confirm, drop up. Yes, I don't need it. Let's try to finish up couple more of this because we're gonna need it and the second one it's done okay we need 25 more so that way we can get some more all right cool the third one it's done all right finally now we can start melting some uh, stone so that way we can make some iron finally basically first things we are gonna make some iron fragments you basically need five iron fragments to make one iron ingot Put two stones of each of you. Oh, this is fairly cool, cool. That's a fairly. Almost done, alright. And yeah, more stones to cook, more stones. I think we are gonna place some window down and basically we are gonna use this obviously this is more for end game but uh, we are gonna start planning right uh, from the beginning because I kinda don't really want to miss uh, later on and destroy a whole bunch of things so this is kinda the main design that I've been going for I think that it's gonna be really super nice of course it's gonna be a whole bunch of problem this is gonna be a big problem a big project, no problem. But at the end, I think that it's gonna be nice. So this is full, we need to empty, all right, full. Also empty, oh. Make some space for more planks. And I think, I think this is already perfect. Yes, cool, take all. And uh, let's cook some iron, basically 5 iron fragments, it is uh, enough for, for basically for one single iron. So we are just making our first iron ingots, basically 2 iron ingots, uh, we are on date uh, 2 currently and we are doing super great, obviously it does. We do need a whole bunch of work, this is kinda obviously. <sighs> and of course we do need also sleep, but that's it. But that's uh, definitely something that can wait for now. 
We do have for next couple of days, we do have some more important things that sleeping. I don't really want to waste too much of time. But anyway, we are gonna finish up here this time around. So if you like what you see, smash that like, leave some comments below and subscribe to the channel. So that way you will never miss a new adventure. And thanks for watching and I will see you all on the next one. Bye, Umbis Bald. Uh <laughs>